Israel's military ramping up its aerial offensive against Hamas as the war enters its third week. And now, growing concerns of significant escalation in the region. Well, we have seen some worrisome attacks, and we got to do what we got to do to protect our troops uh, on the ground, particularly uh, in Iraq and Syria. While neither Israel nor Gaza is a significant oil supplier, concerns the conflict will broaden to other countries in the region are driving investor fears of a possible tightening on global oil supplies. Especially if Iran gets involved, Iran is a major oil producer. And if they embargo oil or cut exports, that could weigh more heavily on oil prices. Brent crude oil prices opened at above $91 Monday, the international oil benchmark. So far, the fluctuations have not impacted gas pumps. A lot of the seasonality that's pushing prices down is really winning that tug of war, and that's helping uh, to keep gasoline prices declining, even as oil prices have gone up. Patrick DeHaan with Gas Buddy says cheaper winter gas blends combined with decreased demand are helping to keep prices low. The national average now below 350 a gallon for the first time since July 5th. And by later this week, the national average could fall to its lowest level since March. In New York, I'm Gloria Pasmino.